Hi, I'm Linnea, and I'm a junior at Klamath Union High School. And I'm Balin, and I'm also a junior at KU. Come on. We're all aware that COVID has dramatically affected students at KU. There was a time when we were at home taking all of our courses online. Let's take a look back over the last year since COVID first affected us in the spring of 2020. Oh, I think the thing that I'm most proud about is that, you know, we were, we were asked to completely change how we teach, um, essentially in a, in a week's time. Um, you know, we had a week and then a spring break and then all of a sudden it was digital. Back in March, I remember, you know, we, we go to um, completely distance learning and of course all the kids are excited about that, but the realization of what that entails um, it starts to hit home, especially with the seniors, you know, with different sporting activities uh, canceled, with dances, with, you know, uh, different opportunities that they normally would have, especially graduation. Sandy runs up the court, kicks it to Davis. Davis, four seconds now, over to Nolan. Nolan with his toe on the line, knocks it down. His toe is on the line. His toe is on the line. Lambeth Union is going to the state championship. We had the best graduation in for the class of 2020. When me and um, Dan Stearns came up with uh, an idea to have it at the park with a giant, giant screen, and uh, truth be told, it really wasn't our idea. We got it from, I got some of it from my wife, but also from other staff members. Um, some of the notable things that I wanted to point out um, really go back into March when we had to figure out how to do packets and get packets out to kids and communicate with them and deploy this massive um, uh, Chromebook checkout system that we had never done before. They've just been fantastic and the whole counseling department is all a part of that. Our new motto became, what's the next best thing? We were constantly problem solving, finding ways to engage learners and to build our relationships. We learned our students' stories. We found out what their struggles were at home. And then we even had staff members who went and visited them at home or even here at the parking lot in KU to show them how to submit assignments, encourage them to continue to work, and it just brought us together. That kindness continued between our staff members. If a teacher was struggling, we found ways to rally behind them and show them <laughs> other ways to do this and encourage them that we're all in this together and it's super challenging. Um, and it's been really hard. It's been really hard, but I, I truly appreciate how everybody's not giving up and is persevering because that's really what makes it all happen. But you want to know what the best part of our kindness? Coffee Fridays. Here you go, Miss Kerr. Every teacher needs fuel to get through this. We also switched from a two semester schedule to a six hex semester schedule. Now we're back at school, half of us in the morning and half of us in the afternoon. And then when school started, you know, we the counselors worked the tails off getting these schedules in place and it's been unbelievable what they have done because we haven't just had to do two semesters. We we're working on a six six week hexamester schedule, something that's never been created before. I am most proud of our students. I think that they have been incredibly resilient, amazing. I, I, you know, I'm proud of my students for, for how flexible they have been. It's been a learning curve for them to understand the technology use as well. And our students love our teachers so much that they want to come to school. I have never seen more compliant children in my life. <laughs> as well as that, we tried to keep every tradition in place for people. It's been a crazy year. One that we will always remember. What is a pandemic without a little bit of fun? Our KU Media Design also created the Nightmare on Montclair. And when you have 1,500 people come to the Nightmare on Montclair Street, right out here in the front of school, um, I was a little worried what that was going to be like and all, everything that we, I couldn't believe it. I, I just couldn't believe it. It was, it was fantastic. And that was another one of those activities that, um, boy, when they were setting it up on a windy day, um, I thought this is going to be a nightmare on Montclair Street for sure, because the whole thing's going to blow away. Welcome to KU's Nightmare 
on Montclair Street. And my God, they pulled it off again, and they always do that. And they, it, it, it far exceeds the expectations. And they raised money for the senior um, class uh, for this year, and that was really a noble of them. But um, that was that was a, a very unique Halloween, and, and we all really needed that in our community. And so I appreciate their work on that. Other great things that have happened at KU I want to give credit to. Um, the community service project that DECA and the cross country students did by going over to Phoenix Talent. Our DECA and cross country students went over to Talent to help with the Alameda fire tragedy. And that just warmed my heart that I know that our students here at KU care about other people and uh, they go the extra length. And, and one student who put that um, together in particular was Daniel McVeigh, and that was um, in, in DECA. And I really appreciate his hard work for pulling that off. And sports have also come back. And we can now have our music classes. And then we had all of our, all of our sports teams trying to do their practices and keep the kids alive and keep them, keep them engaged in school and get them active because they were so isolated at home. Um, and uh, becoming more removed and despondent through all this. So we wanted to pull them out as much as possible. One thing's for sure, at KU, we never stop participating. We found new ways to keep the spirit at KU alive. We're part of a big puzzle here, and only when everybody puts their piece in the puzzle do we get the whole picture. And I think that that's very true about KU, and I truly appreciate how hard everybody's worked, and I appreciate all the support we've gotten behind us that people don't see. All the administration, the district office, human resources, like I said, transportation, food service, IMTC, special service department everybody has come through you know it's it's a really community effort in order to keep this place running um, so that our kids get educated so yeah pretty appreciative of, of everybody